Galatians chapter 3 says this. It says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Now, that's very important. Christians are never called to curse. I can't find in the New Testament where we are called to curse. We are called to bless and not to curse. But he says here, Jesus Christ took the curse and he took it away. Okay, so we are conduits not of curse, but of blessing. Okay, so cursed is everyone who's hanged on a tree, it says. So that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles. Now, I can't manufacture the good feelings, the good favor, the good things that God wants to bring to the earth. I can't do that. You can't do that. But we can pronounce what God has pronounced. We can pronounce what God has pronounced. I can say, may God bless you in his mercy. Even to a lost person, I can say that. May God bless you with healing. I can say that. Now, it may not happen until a person puts themselves in the place of God's blessing, but I can pronounce what God wants to happen into lives. May God bless you with your salvation. You can find salvation in Jesus. May God bless you with peace. You know, words of blessing, they're so powerful. Let me share with you some ways that you can share blessing. Okay? We need to bless children. We need to bless. Our children need blessing. Would you say this? I will bless children. Say it. I will bless children. You know, we need to bless children. Children are so vulnerable. Children are growing. They are learning. And one of the things they need to learn is that God loves them and cares for them. I will bless children. All of us are kids. We, we try to show them the love and we do a good job. We show them by, by raising them, by providing for them, by, by making sure that they have the things that they need. But you know, as a parent, sometimes it's hard and it can be very busy and very hectic. And one of the things we can neglect is sharing that word of blessing, that word of encouragement that goes along with the action of providing. And so we need to bless children. You know, our children are important. They need to hear those words. There was a time when Jesus, this is Mark chapter 10. There was a time when Jesus was doing his thing. And the disciples said, there's Jesus, he's so busy, all these adults around him, he has all this important stuff to do. Jesus is busy, and some of these parents are bringing their kids to Jesus and said, don't do that. Jesus has more important things to do. And it says in Mark chapter 10 that, that Jesus, in verse 14, he was indignant and said to them, let the children come to me, do not hinder them. For, such belongs, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. And it says in verse 16, and he took them in his arms. And bless them and laid his hands on them. So we need to bless children. So just say this, I will bless children. Yeah. See a child. Share the blessings of the Lord. Here's another one. Say, I will bless my enemies. I will bless my enemies. Okay. You're not convincing me? Yeah, I know this is hard. Let's try one more time. I will bless my enemies. Because the Bible says we're supposed to do that. In Romans chapter 12, it says, Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. 1 Peter 3 says, Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you were called, that you may obtain a blessing. If we're going to receive a blessing of the Lord, one of the things we do is we bless, we bless people who are annoying. We bless people who are getting in our way. Can you think of the dynamic that would change if, if there was someone that's, that's your... You're, you're flying the ointment. If that person, you texted them at the beginning of the day and said, I'm praying that God bless you today. You think that might change the dynamic? It just might. It just might. Also, I want to bless the faithful. Followers of Jesus get discouraged. Anybody here get discouraged? Is it just me? We get 